big and right there. Bacon. We're going dock skipping. <laughs> Went ahead and had us a day. Killer boots, man. Oh, uh, if your buddies tell you. I know you probably heard me say it, but if your buddies tell you you can't catch bigs under docks, show them this video. Hi, how you doing? Good, beautiful day, ain't it? If you guys aren't dock skipping, I don't know what the hell is wrong with you. Something's wrong with your head. Um, it's summertime, the fish want cooler water, they want shade, they need structure. These fish relate to structure. They use the structure to hide out in to get ready to ambush bait. The bluegill are in shallow. The bluegill like structure. I mean, it's it's all laid out there for you. Get your ass on the docks and start skipping them bad boys. And thank me after you have the trip of your life, whether if you text me, email me, whatever the hell you do, but thank me. Because if you're not out there getting after it on the docks, you should be. All right, folks, so we're gonna do a little dock skipping. Uh, Yamamoto five inch Cinco. This is the uh, chartreuse, it's like plum chartreuse. And most important thing when you're rigging a wacky rig or rigging a weightless Cinco in general. Um, the first thing you do is fluff it. So that means you gotta bring that salt out. You know, you don't wanna go ripping on it because you'll tear it. But you gotta bring that salt out. Fluff it up real nice. Any salted soft plastics, you guys, you should be doing this. It makes it look fatter, gives it a little better flutter on the way down. You know what's weird is I did buy a wacky rig tool. Split ring, like I've never used one. I've never used split rings, but I bought one. I wanted to try it. Today we're skipping boat docks. And now that I got drifted right into this one, we might as well flip this one real quick. I knew there'd be one hide in there. Not a bad largey. Lost another Cinco. Later, dude. Right there. Kind of a jump shot skip, but. Oh, got one. All right, there was one in there. Got him. Okay. Hey, dude. Starting to get blown around by that wind a little bit. And uh, ended up right on the dock here. Not the most ideal place to be, but I uh, missed a legendary catch right there. Stupid GoPro wasn't on. I'm talking straight legend, legendary cast, catch, everything about it. I mean, I called my shot. Biggin. 
begging. Is this the Darva Connor? I don't want to come in. Hello, I'm right here. Come in, I'll let you pre. Jesus. Now he's over there. Dude, that's a big fish. He's there. You go. You're gonna give up. Who's gonna win this? I can't let you win. Stop it. Darva Conger Slaunch. So there he is, guys. Probably one of my better largemouth dock skipping, honestly. Come on, you guys. Where's the fish at, you guys? Oh, right there. Right there's the fish. What were you doing down there? Oh, got a follower? Didn't I catch you once already? No? Okay. Come on, come on. Come on, other. Alright, he was hooked in the gill. Let's say a little prayer. There he goes. Alright, guys. Showing my float over here. to notice something cool that slaunch cave right there got him oh yeah it's like I knew he was there what are you doing way over there oh my drag that's why drag. Jesus Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like when you when you recognize something, you're like, man, I bet there's a big one in there. That's just what happened right there. Oh. Oh. I know it's just a single hook. I really want to see if I can get another one out of there. I see a little window that I need to throw this in. Biggin. Biggin. Oh God. Hmm. Okay. I knew you were there, dude. I just called it. I said, I see a window. I need to throw it in. Oh, God. Dude, I ain't had a large mouse fight like this in a minute. Oh. Ooh. Good Lord. Come on, Daddy. Come on. I'm trying to pull you into the current now. It appears you may have a little grass in your face. 
Oh my. Dude, he's angry. Oh my lord. Don't come unhooked. Please. Oh my. That's big. Darva Kong or okay that was sloppy I'm telling you guys skip docks in the summertime it's not just the small ones I'm talking three and a half pound bass are living under these boat docks let's do it again Look at that little window right there window of opportunity didn't quite get it there that time. Did that time though. Got him. Another big one. Mm. Dude, stay hooked. Oh, ah, damn it. Oh. Oh, that was a slaunch. Got him. Big him. Oh my. This is <laughs> so much fun. Hey. I'm gonna try to grab a quick one. Got you. Oh, black jaw. Listen, listen to me. When your buddies tell you, I'm not dock skipping because you only catch dinks, you'll catch dinks. But if you find the right docks, you're gonna catch Darva Congers. But it takes practice, guys. And it's not for the faint of heart. Bacon, bacon, right there. Bacon. That's four fish under one dock. Jeez. Wipe the camera off. Large mouth are just feisty in here. I think I lost my Cinco. I did. Lots of Cinco, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how many I can pull out of that one dock. That's number four. Number four I've caught. Um, three. The third one I've landed. Ouch. So we ran out of that Cinco real fast. That's five. Just lost another Cinco. That's five fish under one dock. And not one of them's less than two pounds. up that's why no he's good <laughs> oh my god five fish one dock come on I can't leave can we get number six? Oh my 
God. I won't I would not doubt it with that cast. There can't be any more bass under there. Can't be. Got one. I felt them when I was trying to re adjust here. That's fish number six. Who's counting? Rock bass. That still counts. That still counts. That's six fish, one dock. Oh, God. I hate this. I gotta let you go, buddy. Nice rocky. Six fish, one dock. But if your buddies tell you, you can't catch bigs under docks, show them this video.